A young mother with a rare disease is fighting for her life. Tonight, she's at University Hospital on the waiting list for a double lung transplant. Her family is sharing her story, hoping to save her life and many others. She is a beautiful woman, the most beautiful woman I know. At 30 years old, Nicole DeMeo is in the fight of her life. It's surreal. You never expect it to happen to you. We maybe have a few more days. We maybe have up to a few more weeks if we're lucky. Get some sleep, honey. I love you. Just relax. The single mom is on the waiting list for a double lung transplant. Her kids are ages four and six. And they really don't know too much of what's going on. They just know their mom's in the hospital. This happened all of a sudden. You know, within a week, she went from being the most active person you could see to not being able to breathe. Nicole was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis shortly after birth. The rare genetic disease can lead to life-threatening lung infections. Her disease has gotten to the point where she cannot tolerate uh, doing anything without uh, the ventilator. But I think to see the little animal... Dr. Debbie Levine is part of her medical team at University Hospital. What we're waiting for is a lung donor, uh, which can help get her off both the ventilator, the oxygenator, and, um, and get her back to her two kids, her family, who love her very much. It's a double-edged sword because you never want to see somebody lose their life, but through accidents or whatever the case may be, um, we believe there'll be somebody out there, hopefully in the near future, that can help uh, save her life. According to the Texas Organ Sharing Alliance, Nicole is one of 11,000 people waiting for a donor in Texas. So what we hope to do is educate people and let them know that there's an opportunity for them to give in a much different way, you know, um, not in money you know, uh, not even in time. Nicole's family hopes a donor can get this young mom back home, back to her kids, and back to life. My family, we're strong in our faith, and we just stick together, and we're doing the best that we can. For more information on how to become an organ donor, log on to our website, that's foxsanantonio.com, and click on news links. You can even sign up on Facebook, and you'll find that information on our website, too.